feeling good, ma'am. In case of 2025, my rank is 16. For 75 questions, you have three whole hours. But in CET, it's not like that. They expect you to finish each question within a minute. We started with was solving PYQs of all the years. For now, I just have a rough idea of what which colleges I exactly want. So hello everyone. Today we have one of the toppers of KSET 2025 with us, Diksha C. So Diksha, how are you feeling? And what what was your rank in KSET 2025? I'm feeling good, ma'am. In KSET 2025, my rank is uh, 693. So first, tell me about how was your experience exactly when you saw your result like what was this because the result was out around 2 p.m right according to the kea website so what was the situation in your home uh, what was your uh, just uh, like the reaction after seeing your result actually my uh, my expected rank was uh, below 500 okay. but i would i would be i knew that i'd be happy if i got a rank below 1000 all of my parents and my sister, everyone were there. So everyone felt really happy. We all were just happy with the results. Okay, okay. So when did you start your KSET preparation seriously? Seriously uh, in the beginning of uh, this year, 2025 January. So were, like, how was your journey from JE to KSET? So JE preparation, I knew the concepts, but solving the questions, was, it obviously felt hard because I did not have enough practice. But since I was already, you know, well versed with the concepts, switching to CET was kind of easier. And in CET, I did not have much work to do for it, the preparation. Okay. I just had to solve as many questions, questions as possible and give as many mocks as possible. So, how do you think the strategy for JE and KZ will differ or what exactly difference should be there? For JE, it's, it's not time based, it's more concept based. So you need to know the concept in, yeah, in you know, depth. like in, in depth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and for 75 questions, you have three whole hours. Mm -hmm. But in CET, it's not like that. They expect you to finish each question yes, within a minute. In 180 minutes. Yeah. So it's like in CET, they focus on your accuracy more. Uh, but in JE, it's more about the concepts. So yeah, that's so. So how was your preparation strategy? What all things you followed? So just let us know about your because you have prepared very short uh, duration, still got a very good rank. So what was that uh, preparation strategy that you would advise or your strategy you can share with us? Since I already knew all the concepts, the first thing I started with was solving PYQs of all the years. I got a PYQ book and I solved all the PYQs 11th grade and 12th grade. But during this time, I was not so like you know so good uh, at 11th grade concepts. Mm -hmm. I tried to finish whatever I could, and all uh, some chapters which I had no idea about, I just left them mm -hmm. because 11th uh, the number of questions asked yes, in series yes, definitely uh, less. less. Yeah. Uh, and I just focused on solving all PYQs and at that time I did not really focus on time management. Mm -hmm. After board exams, I decided to get uh, Abhyas okay. KSET yeah. test series and that was when I focused on time management. Uh, I gave like about 5-6 mock tests. Mm -hmm. and So uh, how do you uh, write, as you said, how did you exactly go through the mock test? You have taken Abhyas KSET test series, right? So how was the mock test questions there and how did it help you and how did you write the mock test you know before beginning the full length test there were like uh, part length yeah, part yeah, wise yeah. right yeah. for few chapters a test mm -hmm. uh, i wrote tests on all the uh, chapters for that okay. full length te tests i didn't really attempt all the tests in the mm -hmm. series but for the uh, other part tests i attempted everything uh, that part is uh, you know the mocks mm -hmm. i think they helped act because i was able to revise all the chapters all the once chapters. And after that, uh, I gave a few full length papers and during that I actually bought OMRs yes, online. Yes, that is something really uh, good I will tell you because the exam was, the mock test was online, right? But you need exactly time to bubble them also. Yes, yes. And that's, that was why I bought them and uh, yeah, uh, that helped a lot with time management and it was pretty relevant to the actual CET exam. Yes. It felt the same, same way. way. What resources you followed during this preparation? The first thing is obviously NCRT yes. and then MTG PYQ's book and I had the MTG's, I don't know what it's called, the three big books yeah, yeah, yeah. and those. I also bought the exemplars but exemplars, it, it, I don't think it was that helpful in my case. Math was helpful. Mm -hmm. Chemistry and physics, I, I don't think I used them that much. Okay. Math so, helped a lot. So exemplar of chemistry and physics was not that relevant to KSET? No, it was but I didn't use them much use like them. I had other uh, okay, sources. Okay. Can you tell me how did Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel helped you in your preparation? 
board exams i used chemistry and physics a bit uh, chemistry like after revising everything for the board exams in the morning i was just going through some videos yeah. and uh, you had explained i was watching your video you were explaining this question mm -hmm. uh, oct uh, octahedral structures yes, yes, and all yes, the I same remember. question was there yes so now since the exams are over results are out the next phase that is your counseling phase right so what are like how, what are your preparation going on around that and which colleges you are aiming for which branches you want for now i just have a rough idea of what which colleges i exactly want uh, i'm obviously aiming for the top 4 mm -hmm. um, and like rv ps and uh, uh, ramaya and then bms college okay. and i think i'll go for computer science core uh, that's the branch i need mm -hmm. what other entrance exams have you written and what exam others you have attempted i wrote je mains uh, since i qualified i i was able to write je advanced okay. too and other than that comet k and uh, vit triple e kc okay okay and uh, what like there will be certain mistakes that you might have understood did you and you might not want your juniors to repeat them so can you let let us know what all things students should avoid in their kc preparation uh, mom students do this one thing like including me they are always trying to uh, ask others what to do what to do instead of taking one advice and actually acting on it okay. they are always trying to ask everyone yes. and they'll waste their time there mm -hmm. that happened to me too mm -hmm. uh, so instead of uh, going around asking everyone just begin preparing as soon as possible and be serious don't procrastinate okay so you feel procrastination was something that you did with yes see when i faced that issue uh, but i decided to get serious at least during the last months because this mm -hmm. was my last last chance. attempt yes definitely okay uh, then finally we'd like to conclude but i want you to give at least one piece of advice that you want your, your juniors that must follow that one thing if you want to convey to them what will be your message to them uh, don't ignore board exams because uh, this year rank inflation was absolutely yes. crazy yes everyone definitely. expecting you know they got their ranks doubled than mm -hmm. what they were expecting mm -hmm. so don't ignore boards and uh, just put your best in the in all the exams you write that, that's all